for Hamilton Mountain. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I followed the member's speech with great interest. Uh, we serve on the committee together, and uh, so I, I know his perspective on many of these issues quite well. Um, I want to ask him specifically, though, about one part of his speech where he talked at length about uh, the Canada Jobs Grant. Um, he talked about it in, a, in much the same way that the TV ads do. He lauded it as a great program, as you know, the next best thing for, for Canadians who are looking to, to upgrade their skills, and yet the program doesn't actually exist. What we know about the jobs grant is that there's an ad campaign that's running in the middle of NHL hockey games, I think to the tune of $90,000 per ad, about a program that advertises the Canada Jobs Grant, which doesn't exist. So I wonder if the member, because he talked about it in his speech, knows more about it than the rest of us in this House do. And if he does, I wonder whether he would share those details with the rest of us. So I would ask him quite directly here, since he raised it, I wonder if he could give members of this House the details of the Canada Jobs Grant and how it will help people in my community of Hamilton Mountain and indeed people right across this country. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Calgary Northeast. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I honestly love this question because I don't know where the member lives, but I can tell you one thing, that this program is introduced in the budget, but I and I myself has already started consultations, and I'll quote, I'll quote what I heard from the United Way's president and CEO, Dr. Lucy Miller, and Heather McDonald, who is the vice president and chief operating office, officer of United Way. They said... The government's focus on skills training is in line with the United Way's project. Project name is All In. At, uh, at, at the school, Bishop McNally High School, they started to invite high school dropouts back to school and encouraging students to higher learning, such as skill trades and colleges. So, Mr. Speaker, I would encourage the member opposite to start consulting her constituents. Here, here. Uh, questions and comments? A short question, uh, the Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to re repeat the question raised by my colleague in the House. I wonder if the member could tell us the details about what exactly uh, the skills program is doing, rather than just giving us what accolades some people have said about a program apparently they might know about, but the House doesn't yet know about. The Honourable Member for Calgary Northeast. Well, I guess, Mr. Speaker, I have to repeat my answer. I, uh, I, I guess uh, the, the, the honourable member missed the, missed the point that, uh, that in, ca in, in action, Canada's Action uh, Plan 2013, this, this program is introduced and uh, uh, consultation is on. Consultation is on to, on to uh, decide and figure out that how, how the stakeholders are taking, uh, taking uh, note of it and I can assure the member opposite that the uh, stakeholders I have been consulting with are appreciative of this program and they are very encouraged to see this kind of program. Uh, before we resume debate, it is my 